Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem. We have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 equal to 2. Now by looking at this problem, you can easily tell what the, the answer will be. But then, whatever answer you're going to tell will be a real solution. Trust me, we're going to get the complete solution to this problem, right? Now let's begin. The, the next step is bringing 2 to the left. So we're going to have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 2 equal to 0. Our next target is to be able is to factorize what we have here but then it's going to be difficult for us to factorize if we don't break any of the terms so i'm going to have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus open bracket 1 plus 1 equal to 0 because 1 plus 1 will give us 2 right and this equally means we are having x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0 isn't it so from here we can now begin to arrange this or better still make this to half powers so they can be similar to the first two terms so we have x to the power of 3 plus x to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 2 equal to 0 Okay, so from here, we can now compare this and this and compare this and this. So we are going to have x to the power of 3 minus 1 to the power of 3. Whatever we have here, we will factorize. Then plus x to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2. We will deal with this and everything is equal to 0. Now from here, let's see if we can recall this standard a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to a okay a minus b right into bracket a squared plus a b plus b squared okay if we can recall this standard we're going to apply it for the first bracket for what we have in the first bracket there so we're going to have um, a minus b will now be x minus 1, close that. Then in this, we're going to have x squared plus ab is going to be x times 1, which will still give us x. Then plus b squared, which will be 1 squared. So we write 1 squared over there, close this. Plus in the second bracket, what we have here is difference of 2 squared. So we apply it, we'll be having x minus 1 into x plus 1 that is according to the rule of um, difference of two squares so this is equal to 0 now from here i will continue to x plus x minus 1 into x squared plus x plus 1 because 1 squared is 1 then plus x minus 1 into x plus 1 equals 0 the next thing is to factorize. x minus 1 is a common factor. So I'm going to have x minus 1 as the common factor. Here I have x squared plus x plus 1. Let me have this here. Then plus this has already come out. So I'm picking this x plus 1. If you like, you can still have this in brackets. Then everything is equal to 0. Some persons will be confused because they would want to multiply this and this, but it's not allowed because you're adding them. So you can just let go of this bracket so that we have x minus 1 as the common factor. Then here, I'm going to have x squared. x plus x will give us 2x. Then 1 plus 2, I mean 1 plus 1 will be giving us plus 2. Close this and everything is equal to zero. To begin with this, we are going to apply zero product rule. Zero product rule, right? 
so that we have x minus sorry x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 now from here x will be equal to 0 plus 1 and x from here is equal to 1 so this is the value of x from the linear factor over there now we're going to pick this again and deal with this where we have x squared x squared plus 2x plus 2 equals 0 now let's use the formula method to deal with this x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2a a is the coefficient of x squared that is 1 b is 2 and c is also 2 so this means that our x is going to be minus 2 plus or minus square root of b squared that would be 2 squared now 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 2 because a is 1 and c is 2 the whole of this is over 2 times 1 okay so x from here will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 4 times 1 times 2 that will give 8 right okay so this is all over 2 as well okay so x here is equal to a minus 2 plus or minus and we shall have square root of negative 4 that's 4 minus 8 all over 2 now what can i do x here is the same thing as minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1 what I've done is to bring out the negative from here. And all of this is over 2. Now, we can get square root of 4 and square root of negative 1. From here, x will be equal to minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2, right? And then square root of negative 1 is imaginary. So we pick i. The whole of this will be over 2. Now, let me continue from here. From here, 2 will go into this so that x will be equal to minus 1 plus or minus. The same 2 will go into this 2 and we have 1i, which is the same as i, right? So, from here, we have two other solutions for the equation. But then, remember, we got x. 1 x1 to be equal to 1 right that's our first solution and the only real solution then our x2 is equal to minus 1 plus i then our x3 is equal to minus 1 minus i so these are the three solutions to the equation thank you for watching